Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2021. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Amos 7-9 through 9 and Revelation 8. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation so that the reading of your Word will be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Locusts, fire, and a plumb line. Amos 7. This is what the Sovereign Lord showed me. He was preparing swarms of locusts after the king's share had been harvested, and just as the late crops were coming up, when they had stripped in the land clean, I cried out, Sovereign Lord, forgive. How can Jacob uh, survive? He is so small. So the Lord relented. This will not happen, the Lord said. This is what the Sovereign Lord showed me. The Sovereign Lord was calling for judgment by fire. It dried up the great deep and devoured the land. Then I cried out, Sovereign Lord, I beg you, stop. How can Jacob survive? He is so small. So the Lord relented. This will not happen either, the Sovereign Lord said. This is what he showed me. The Lord was standing by a wall that, was, that had been built true to plumb with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord asked me, What do you see, Amos? A plumb line, I replied. Then the Lord said, Look, I am setting a plumb line among my people in Israel. I will spare them no longer. The high place, the places of Isaac will be destroyed, and the sanctuaries of Israel will be ruined. With my sword I will rise against the house of Jeroboam, Amos, and Amahazah. Then Amahaz, the priest of Bethel, sent a message to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos is raising a conspiracy against you in the very heart of Israel. The land cannot bear all his words, for this is what Amos is saying. Jeroboam will die by the sword, and Israel will surely go into exile, away from their native land. Then Abazah said to Amos, Get out! You seer, go back to the land of Judea, earn your bread there, and do your prophesying there. Do not prophesy any more at Bethlehem, because this is the king's sanctuary and the temple of the kingdom. Amos answered Amaziah, Amaziah, I was neither a prophet nor the son of a prophet, but I was a shepherd, and I also took care of sycamore fig trees. But the Lord took me from tending the flocks and said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel. Now then, hear the words of the Lord you, you say. Do not prophesy against Israel and stop preaching against the descendants of Isaac. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. Your wife will become a prostitute in the city, and your sons and daughters will fall by the sword. Your land will be measured and divided up, and your, you yourself will die in a pagan country, and Israel will will surely go into exile away from their native land. A Basket of Ripe Fruit Amos 8 This is what the Sovereign Lord showed me. A basket of ripe fruit. What do you see, Amos? He asked. A basket of ripe fruit, I answered. Then the Lord said to me, The time is ripe for my people 
Israel, I will spare them no longer. In that day, declares the Sovereign Lord, the songs in the temple will turn to wailing. Many, may, oh, many, many bodies flung everywhere, silence. Hear, hear this, you who trample the needy and do away with the poor of the land, saying, When will the new moon be over? What we may sell, uh, that we may sell grain, and the Sabbath be ended, that we may market wheat, skimping on the measure, boasting the, the price, and chatting with dishonest scales, and cheating with dishonest scales, buy the poor with silver and the needy for a pair of sandals, selling even the sweeping sweepings with the wheat. The Lord has shown, has sworn by himself the pride of Jacob. I will never forget anything that they have done. Will not the land tremble for this, and all who live in it mourn? The whole land will rise like the Nile. It will be stirred up and then sink like the river of Egypt. In that day, declares the Sovereign Lord, I will make sure the sun goes down at noon and darken the earth in broad daylight. I will turn your religious festivals into mourning and all your singing into weeping. I will make all you of you wear sackcloth and shave your heads. I will make that time like mourning for an only sun and the end of it like a bitter day. The, the days are coming, declares the Sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine through the land, no, a famine of food or of thirst or water for water, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. People will stagger from sea to sea and wander from north to east and search for the word of the Lamb by the, but they will not find it. In that day, the lovely young women and strong young men will faint because of thirst, and those who swear by the sins of Samaria, who say, as surely as your God lives, Dan, or as surely as the God of Beersheba lives, then uh, they will fall, never to rise again. Israel to be destroyed. Amos uh, 9. I saw the Lord standing by the altar, and he said, Strike the tops of the pillars so that the thresholds shake. Bring them down on the heads of all the people, those who are left. I will kill with the sword. Not one will get away. Not one will escape. Though they dig down to the depths below, from there my hand will take them. Though they climb up to the heavens above, from there I will bring them down. Though they hide themselves on the tops of Carmel, there I will hunt them down and seize them. And though they hide from my eyes at the bottom of the sea, there I will command the serpent to bite them. Though they are driven into exile by their enemies, there I will command the sword to slay them. I will keep my eye on them for harm and not for good. The Lord, the Lord Almighty, he touches the earth and it melts, and all who live in it mourn. The whole land rises like the Nile, and 
then it sinks like the rivers of Egypt. He builds his lofty place in the heavens and sets in its foundation on the earth. He calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out over the face of the land. The Lord is his name. Are not you Israelites the same to me as the Cushites, declares the Lord. Did I not bring Israel up from Egypt, the Philistines from Caphetardo, and the Arameans from Kerr? Surely the eyes of the Sovereign Lord are on the sinful kingdom. I will destroy it from the face of the earth. Yet I will not totally destroy the descendants of Jacob, declares the Lord, for I will give the command, and I will shake the people of Israel among all the nations. As grain in, is shaken in a sieve, and not a pebble will reach the ground, all the sinners among your, my people will die by the sword, all those who say disaster will not overtake me or meet us. Israel's resolution. In that day I will restore David's fallen shelter. I will repair its broken walls and restore its ruins and will rebuild it as it used to be so that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the nations that bear my name, declares the Lord, who will do these things. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when the repair will be overtaken by the plowman, and the reaper will be taken overtaken by the plowman, and the planter by the one treading grapes. And then new wine will drip from the mountains and flow from the hills and I will bring my people Israel back from exile and they will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them and they will plant vineyards and drink their wine and they will make gardens and eat their fruits and I will plant Israel in their own land never again to be uprooted from the land I have given them says the Lord your God and that was Amos 7 through 8. And now we will be turning to Revelation 8. The seventh seal and the golden censer. Revelation 8. When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all God's people on the golden altar in front of the throne. The smoke of the incense, together with the prayers of God's people, went up before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and hurled it on the earth. And there came peals of thunder, rumbling, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. The trumpets. Then the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared to sound them. The first angel sounded his trumpet, and there came hail and fire mixed with blood, and it was hurled down on the earth. A third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. The second angel sounded his trumpet, and something like a huge mountain, all ablaze, was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea 
turned into blood. A third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel sounded his trumpet, and a great star, blazing like a torch, fell from the sky onto the earth, on a third of the rivers, and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the water turned bitter, and many people dried or died from the waters that had become bitter. The fourth angel sounded his trumpet, and a third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them turned dark. A third of the day was without light, and also a third of the night. As I watched, I heard an eighth. Uh, I heard an angel that was flying in midair call out in a loud voice, "Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, because of the trumpeter blasts about to be sounded by the other three angels." And that was Revelation eight. Which concludes the daily bread portion, I mean the Bible, with Frisco 2021 for the day. Tomorrow we will be covering Ob Obadiah and Revelation 9. Father, I just thank you for your word, because without your word I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. So I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to The Bible with Briscoe 2021 for today. And as always, you know God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow because, well, we'll be here. And God willing, we hope that you will too. Bye-bye.